Hello and welcome to another video. So today I have this iSteady X 3 axis gimbal that I purchased off of Amazon. Purchased this one for 150 and this one for about 70 bucks because I wanted to compare the two. Um, you know, DJI, Osmo, I like the mobile gimbals are some of the best ones. Uh, I'm new at gimbals, so I wanted to get both of them and compare. I know gimbals make your videos look a lot better. Um, I've already went ahead and scanned the QR code and downloaded the app. It's about 259 grams. It's pretty lightweight, foldable, three axis, and um, the app has some features in there. So it comes with the wrist strap, power cable, storage pouch, and a tripod as well. All right. So um, I'm just holding it here. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, this is like a almost silver, gold-ish finish to the uh, metal looking part there. Um, this is a slider slider button and then you have a slider on the side as well to zoom I guess or manual focus. So this is what the gimbal came like. To open it says you just uh, flip it over right and then you tighten this to make this rod straight that's all and you um, and then you unlock this so you unlock it and now you're good to go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn it off for a second and we're gonna mount our phone. All right, so the tripod is a separate attachment that you can screw in like so. Let's see, it's not that wide, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to hold my phone along with the um, actual gimbal. So I'm just gonna set my phone up here. Let's go ahead and place this. So to place the phone here, it's kind of an interesting design. So as you can see here, they have these hooks on the bottom. So you put them in the hooks. The hooks are meant meant to like not press on the buttons. So you can hook that and then and this is the iPhone 8 Plus, which is the same size as uh, in width as like the 12 and things like that so it fits just fine I'm going to take it off the tripod here because I don't really need that and apparently it's staying on the tripod just fine so underneath here you have a more full user manual you have your carrying case it's a really soft carrying case let's see how well it fits in there Fits in there pretty nicely. Comes with this USB-C charging cable, as well as this lanyard so you don't drop it. All right, I have the iSteady X uh, gimbal. So to unlock it, you kind of just open it up. You're gonna um, lock that in place. We're gonna make sure we're unlocked from there. So before you turn it on, you wanna mount the phone. Make sure the um, bottom of your phone goes to the bottom here where the two spikes are and then it slides down just like just like that okay so that's how you mount the phone make sure you center it so it's the gimbal doesn't have to work too hard to balance it once you have it on in you're gonna turn it on once you have it turned on let's go through some of the features here so this thing will zoom in and out so i'm gonna zoom out all the way so pressing the power button once goes from portrait to landscape or the other way around. If you press it twice, it's going to recenter the gimbal. Um, the, the record button, if you click it, it starts taking a picture or recording depending on what mode you're on. If you press it twice, it uh, switches between photo and video mode. And if you So the record button, you click it three times and it switches between the front and the back camera. You click it once to record or take a photo. You click it twice to go between photo and video mode. And this joystick will help you angle whatever direction you want. The modes, uh, different modes, it is kind of hard to change between the modes. The, the way it works as far as changing between the mode is you're gonna press the uh, shutter button while, and then you press the uh, power button once, okay? So that's, that's the typical follow mode, which is pan and tilt. Then you press this shutter button and then you click this twice and it's gonna 
go to tilt lock. And then you're gonna press this and then click this four times and it's gonna be POV mode. So as you can see, the phone angles in all directions. So we're gonna press this and press this once and we're gonna go back to the follow, tilt and pan only, okay? So this is probably the preferred method for everybody. So now that we are in uh, normal follow mode, we're gonna hit record and see what kind of video we get. So it's pretty stable. I am using my iPhone 8 Plus instead of my iPhone 13 Pro Max because the iPhone 14 Pro Max has pretty good video stabilization built in and I want to test out my uh, gimbal stabilization. So it's doing a pretty good job. I do have a DJI Osmo 6 and I think that does a, a little bit of a better job as far as responding to the commands of my handle but it's still doing a really darn good job as far as stabilization. Um, I'm gonna post a side-by-side -side video uh, comparing these two because the price difference is pretty stark. So um, you wanna be able to tell how much of a difference are we making here. So let's try the other features such as active track and things like that. So on the app here, you can uh, click here and then it will track an object. So let's track that object, okay? So the object tracking is on now. I'm not entirely sure, how do you? Okay, so I think I've clicked that uh, car now. So actually you do have to touch the uh, screen. And so now that I've touched that object, no matter what angle I turn my gimbal to, it continues to track that car. So actually it's doing a pretty decent job of uh, following that car. So you do have to touch the phone to click that feature. I'm gonna stop record here. So I click the shutter button three times and flip the camera over from video to, uh, or from uh, back facing to front facing. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on active track. It's, uh, it's actually on by default but it's not tracking me. So I'm gonna, because it was an object mode. So now I'm face tracking and it's, it's following my face pretty well. So I'm gonna, as I'm turning my hand in different angles, it continues to uh, face my, um, or face towards me. It's doing a pretty darn good job of it. I'm gonna keep walking here. So if you're not kind of paying attention to it, right? And you're walking and looking around, so your hand's not quite always angling to you, it still does a pretty good job of tracking your face. So I'm happy with that feature. So you click the power button once and it changes from landscape to portrait and that's doing a pretty good job. And the face track uh, in that mode is pretty decent as well. So I'm actually pretty drastic. I'm doing pretty drastic angles and now it's kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, all right.